With Tasmania set to join the AFL as the 19th team, the obvious next question is who will be the 20th team. Gil McLaughlin did imply that the league will get back to an even number of teams at some point. Whether that's a brand new team or a merged or relocated Victorian team, we'll wait and see. But for this video, we're going to go with the idea of an all new 20th team. And I've got three possible candidates lined up. Our first team comes from the Northern Territory. This seems like the most obvious next step in the AFL becoming a truly national league. For this team, I've gone with the Darwin Dingoes. Not only is it a great sounding name, but having a native Australian animal I think suits a Northern Territory team well and also gives them a cool mascot. For their home jumper, I've gone with a black base, the claw scratch design that you guys know I'm a big fan of, this time in a red to gold gradient, which I think looks really cool, and is also similar enough to be a bit of a nod to the Northern Territory Thunder Guernseys. For the clash, we've gone with a simple inverse. The red to gold gradient now makes up the majority of the jumper, with the claw marks now in black. This team would probably also need a white clash jumper because obviously their colours are quite similar to GWS. Our second team comes from WA. Being a Frio supporter, the idea of a third team in WA seems very strange to me, but there has been some interest in a team coming from the suburb of Joondalup. This is the current home of the waffle team, the West Perth Falcons, so I think it makes sense to call this new AFL team, the Joondalup Falcons, as you'd assume that West Perth would become the waffle alignment side for this new team. For their home jumper, I've gone with a unique Falcon design, but I've changed their colours to blue and black. This gives the AFL side a unique identity while still retaining some similar elements to West Perth in the blue and the Falcon mascot. For the Clash Jumper, we've gone with the same design on a white base. In this case, a simple inverse probably wouldn't avoid a Clash, so we've gone with white to eliminate any Clash possibility. Our third team comes from the ACT and they are the Canberra Capitals. I've used this team name before in one of the What If videos, but it's one I really like. Again, not only does it sound good with the double Cs, but it also makes sense with the Australian Capital Territory location. For their home jumper, I've gone with the design previously worn by the Canberra Demons in the Nifu before it merged with the VFL. I really think this design looks great. It uses the Canberra colours and incorporates the location and identity into the design of the Guernsey. We've gone with a simple inverse blue on gold for the away jumper, and I've given them a white clash jumper, which they'll probably need when they play the Eagles. Some might say these colours are too similar to West Coast, but I think the navy blue is different enough for these two teams to be unique from each other. I'd love to hear some of your candidates for the 20th team in the comments below and I'll see you next time.